fixeasy.com. Today we'll be disassembling and reassembling the OnePlus One. The tools needed to complete this repair are a small Phillips screwdriver, plastic opening tools, a SIM card ejection tool, an ice sesamo, and a pair of fine tip curved tweezers. First, we'll begin disassembly by removing the SIM card tray using the SIM card ejection tool. Insert a plastic opening tool in between the back cover and the LCD frame. Pry along the edges to remove the back cover from the device. Use a pair of fine tip curved tweezers to pry the two small plastic rubber plugs from over the screws at the bottom of the device. And then the three rubber plugs at the top. With the plugs removed, we reveal 15 Phillips screws. Remove all 15 screws, making note that the two screws at the bottom center of the device are slightly smaller than the rest. We'll use an eye sesamo to pry the bottom and top covers from the device. We'll disconnect the battery and pry the battery from the frame. Disconnect all of the connections along the bottom of the motherboard. Remove the small Phillips screw from the lower left hand side of the motherboard. We'll use the fine tip curve tweezers to pry the volume buttons from the side of the frame. These are soldered to the motherboard, so be careful as not to tear the ribbons. Disconnect the LCD. Lift the adhesive from over the rear facing camera connection. Disconnect the camera and remove it from the device.
pry out with the ear speaker. Remove the black adhesive from over the interconnect cable. And we'll remove the black adhesive from over the bottom connections. Unplug the interconnect cable and fish it through the hole in the frame. We'll remove the charging dock port flex. We'll gently lift the bottom flex cable. Paying attention to the small bit that is tucked inside the left side of the frame. Pry up the microphone and small LED from the bottom. And then we'll lift the flex up. Once we've pried it free, Pull it out of the device. Now we will begin reassembly of the device. Reseat the bottom flex, making sure to reinsert the small offshoot of the ribbon into the cutout on the left side of the frame. Read here the ribbon to the frame. Reinstall the ear speaker. Reseat the charging dock port connector. And read here the ribbon to the frame. Feed the cable through the hole on the right side of the frame. And reconnect the button connector. Reseat the cable into the groove on the right side of the frame. Reapply the black adhesive. Reattach the front facing camera. We'll reconnect the button connector to the under right side of the motherboard. Reseed the motherboard, reconnect the LCD, re-adhere the volume buttons to the side of the frame, and we'll re-adhere the power button. Reconnect the charging dock port connector. Reconnect the bottom flex. Make sure all of the ribbons lay flat. Reattach the rear facing camera. Replace the small Phillips screw in the lower left hand corner of the motherboard. Replace the battery. Replace the bottom and top covers. We'll replace all 15 screws, keeping in mind that the bottom two screws in the center are slightly smaller than the rest.
With the screws now replaced, we'll replace the two small rubber covers. And then replace the three slightly larger ones on the top. We'll replace the back cover, pressing along all of the edges to reseat it. Reinsert the SIM tray. And there we have it, another successful teardown by FixEasy.com. All of the parts and tools used in this video today are available at FixEasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.